Infinite, directed by Antoine Fuqua, who's known most famously for Training Day starring Denzel Washington, and he also directed The Equalizer, Southpaw, and The Shooter, which also stars Mark Wahlberg. And this film stars Mark Wahlberg, to retail edgy of four, man his name is difficult uh sophie cookson and dylan o'brien so infinite is about a man who discovers that his hallucinations are memories from past lives where he obtains special skills that he still has till this day now i could be completely wrong when i say this but if i had to guess i would say that i think most audiences probably weren't jumping for joy waiting for this movie to be released and if you do fall in that category in that group of those who weren't anticipating this movie at all then let me be the first to tell you that you're not missing out in the slightest if you decide to skip this movie. But let's talk about a few things first that landed this movie in this position for me personally because it's it's worth it's worth talking about. So to me, this was a pretty cool and interesting concept of having reincarnated action heroes who basically become more skilled throughout time simply because they can remember skills they've obtained from past lives. Definitely a cool concept, but we've seen similar approaches from other movies in the past where it just works better in my opinion. Like uh, Edge of Tomorrow, uh, The Old Guard for example, and even the most recent boss level film with Frank Grillo, which was released earlier this year. And there's more out there of course, but all this movie really does differently is that it takes that loop format from its more popular predecessors and calls it reincarnation instead of you know groundhog day type of action thriller but it's basically the same shit though just executed much more poorly in my personal opinion and this is going to sound a bit harsh but this was just a wasted concept and a waste of on-screen talent like and i'm a fan of mark Wahlberg. like you know come on it's marky mark Yo, it's about that time to break forth. But I thought his performance in this movie was like watching paint dry. What? No. Personally, I think if Dylan O'Brien and Mark Wahlberg's roles were switched in this film, I think that would have probably made the movie just a little bit better. And I'm sure some people might come for me for saying this, but I think Dylan O'Brien is a better overall actor than Mark Wahlberg. And Dylan isn't even in the movie very long. And his sequences alone were probably the best part of the film to me. Honestly, this movie is just average at best. And they really tried to dig into this concept and touch on the lore behind everything, but it was just so boring listening to them explain how this world works and to see very little execution of it, or at least in a more exciting way that sets it apart from every other car chasing, plane fighting, Michael Bay explosive level type action thriller. So I'm giving Infinite a 6 out of 10. This one reeled me in a little with the movie trailers, enough to where I had to at least give it a chance, but this is one of those times where the trailers for a movie are definitely better than the movie itself. And if you are one of those people who checked out the trailers and you weren't impressed, uh, I would say follow your gut and skipping Infinite. But if for some reason you are still interested in checking out Infinite, it will be available for streaming on Paramount Plus on June 10th, Thursday, June 10th to be exact. But there you have it. And if you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. Thank you for watching.